The spread of animal diseases, zoonoses, and other threats such as antimicrobial resistance pose serious threats to global health security. Data shows that 60% of uh, new emerging diseases that we are witnessing of late have uh, originated from animals. To address this, the Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO, in collaboration with Kenya's Ministry of Agriculture and Livestock Development, together with other partners, started implementing the Frontline Aim Service Applied Veterinary Epidemiology Training, well known as the ESAVET program. The in service applied veterinary epidemiology training came in to develop uh, around 14 core competencies and 47 skills in applied veterinary epidemiology training. Among them is uh, disease monitoring, uh, surveillance, and reporting to address and to be able to inform decisions in disease control uh, programming. But what are its key objectives? One of the first objectives is providing a veterinary service both at the national and subnational level. The other objective is to strengthen their capacity for surveillance and epidemiology. In Nyeri County, we meet Dr. Charles Munameza. Dr. Munameza is among 78 mentees who received training on disease surveillance as well as field and outbreak investigation. During didactic uh, training, we learned that Diseases are approached from multisectoral approach. People in human health, animal health, environment and wildlife are important in uh, coming up with the solution to the diseases. As a result of this training, he has since developed an extension guide to train his community on responsible dog ownership, management of dog bites, and their role in controlling and managing priority zoonotic diseases such as rabies and anthrax in Nyeri County. I also inform them the cost implication, like if a dog is not vaccinated and it bites somebody, the owner of the dog will incur in the cost of post-exposure prophylaxis to the tune of 10,000 shillings. And in Muranga County, we meet Dr. Priscilla Waitiki. Reporting of diseases using the Excel was, you know, my main thing. It was very exciting. She has used this skill to improve her reports and share information within the relevant stakeholders for disease control measures. I have better data than I used to have. Across the region in Nyandarwa County, we meet Dr. Peter Miner, one of the ESAVET mentees who has recently been promoted and given more responsibilities as a trainer due to the ESAVET skills acquired. I've trained uh, about 15 officers from government, also around 20 private practitioners on disease surveillance data capture, especially using CABS and to more enhance uh, disease reporting. At the Farmer's Choice Export Slaughterhouse Facility in Nairobi, Joyce Mwikali and Willis Madhu have successfully implemented biosafety and biosecurity measures for vehicle passage as best practice after the training. Slaughterhouse is a quarantine area and our key guard here is biosecurity. Biosecurity from our footbats, all the vehicles entering the gate bringing the pigs to us must be washed within this compound before they leave this gate just to ensure no disease that, you, that comes out of our slaughterhouse to the farm level. Survey has come in very strongly on data analysis as well as risk assessment and management skills. For example, how they are able to do an epidemic curve, you know, just describe the disease occurrence, the epidemiologic triad, etc. The ISAVET training has opened my eyes to epidemiology. I've learned how to collect, sort, and analyze, and give feedback to stakeholders, especially farmers. So far, 78 animal health personnel, veterinary laboratory officers, and Kenya Wildlife Service personnel from 39 counties have been trained. Learning from the program, in the last two levels of curriculum review, epidemiology has been given more weight. This sort of training should be expanded to include uh, several other professions in future.